What's going on guys? My name is Kyle. You've made it to Obsessed Auto and today we got the Durango back. So what we've got going on is this thing. We did the conversion to 134 based off the comments that you guys put that I very much appreciate. It seems as though I probably overfilled it just a little bit. Um, we we're doing good. This is what week number three, I think. And this thing right here, it's blowing cold, but it's not. Blowing cold, but it's not. Anyway, so the issue with this is sometimes it'll blow cold, sometimes it won't. We've got a little noise on the inside, like a tss, sounds like a high pressure leak in a hose, like a pinhole leak. But obviously there's not a leak in there that is basically from what I understand on these things, that is to let you know that the system is low so what we're gonna do is i am gonna go into this beautiful little brown bag special here just kidding get that out of the way this is the box that i think i need we'll get it fancy fancy see if i can do this with one hand all right Then I got my UV light. So I'm gonna shut the overhead lights off. Boom. And then we're gonna shine this UV light down in here and see what we can find, if anything at all. Found my problem. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. It looks like you might be able to. So it looks like my condenser line took a dump. Everything up here is fine. Compressor wise, look okay. Bulkhead on the firewall on the thermal expansion valve. I think we're okay. I need a real freaking light. This UV ain't doing nothing for me. I see a whole lot of something back there. You guys can't see that though. Anyways, down there I'm sure you can see. We're lit up like a freaking Christmas tree. So that seems to be the problem. You get it part figured out, and next video you guys see on this thing will be me swapping that out. Okay, so here's where we're at. I think I know where it's coming from. Straight down there is where all my dye is at. What I'm gonna do, I've already got it kind of jacked up there. I love this Daytona Jack from Harbor Freight. What we're gonna do is get up underneath here, take the splash shield out of the way, and get that uv light back out and really try to see where this is coming from and again in kansas starting to rain we just can't freaking get by it <sighs> all right let's see what we can find on this thing help i've fallen and i can't get up it's because i'm fat <laughs> so we're under the car this skid plate right here is what I want to move. I think this is my die. It looks like it could be. All right, so here's the deal. I found the leak. It is, I don't know how well you guys can see because it sucks. This grill in the way. There. It is the condenser. You can All right, guys, change the scenery. I'm inside the house. Got the computer right here touch screen sorry AC condenser 434 all right guys so as you can tell same area that you just saw a couple seconds ago I don't know what is going on but I updated my GoPro last night for the first time since I got it and there is something amiss so I'll film and we'll get 
cut off. Like, I'll be talking, it'll show that it's doing everything it's supposed to do, and then it just cuts off and loses all my files. So anyways, that is what's going on with this Durango. Needs a condenser, um, then refill, Freon, all that fun stuff. If you did like this video, please slam that thumbs up button. I do appreciate every single like that I get. If you have something to say about the situation, certainly leave a comment down below. I have found you guys' comments to be very, very helpful with me and what I'm doing with this. Because to me, this is kind of uncharted territory. I don't really have anybody else to talk to about this type of thing. Um, so yeah, you guys' input with it is very, very, very crucial for me to keep getting. Um, not even keep getting to like progress this to make it cool the way it did prior to putting 134 in it. Anyways, off the beaten path there. Um, if you did find this video helpful enough to share it, please do so. I would be very grateful for that. I am definitely trying to do two videos a week right now. I've done that for the past two weeks. Um, hence why I'm filming this in my basement in front of my computer while I'm editing. So trying to get two videos out a week for you guys. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Subscribe to the channel. I don't know if I said that. Be very, very, very grateful for that. So anyways, that's all I've got for you. I hope you guys have a very beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video.